Hey guys, Richard Butler here with another look at Male Poet and everything that it can do. So, in my first video that I did, I was waiting just to get authorized by Male Poet after picking it up via AppSumo deal, which is an absolute crazy deal. Um, and you can get it for $49 using the link in the description. With this crazy deal, you get 5,000 subscribers per site with unlimited sites and they take care of all the email sending. Now you have to email responsibly and not spam, etc. So here I am, AppSumo lifetime plan deal. And if I go in, the first thing that I must do is I must authorize my emails here. So what that does is that allows, uh, well, you set up an email for one of your websites. It will then send you an email to make sure that you are the actual owner of that site. So it has to be at a domain.com or .es or .ie or .co.uk, whatever it has, whatever it is, but you have to own the domain. Then you go in and you actually go to your setup here. So I'm in a site that I've just created in the last little while. Um, you must put in the default sender. So don't use something like admin or don't use something like customer service. Out. Use a real email address. So from Richard, reply to Richard. Now, manage your subscription page. What you can actually do is you can either use the default page or what you can actually do is you can create a special page. I just created a very simple page there. Um, that is when people want to manage their subscriptions. When they want to unsubscribe, they go there. And what I've also set up is the stats notification so that when people uh, subscribe to my newsletter, they will actually, um, well, it will actually send me an email, okay? Now, um, sign up confirmation. When you are using their mailing system, you must have double opt-in. So that's going to reduce the amount of people that you may get on your list, but increase the quality because they have to double opt-in. You get an email content of what is sent when you ask them to opt in and you can just leave, I've just left it at the default. And then to confirm, you can choose any page from WordPress. So I just created my own there. Send with, I'm using their mail poet sending service. Okay. All emails are signed with SPF and DKIM, which should guarantee better um, delivery. And then in the advanced, I already showed you this. Uh, they look after the bounces, you use the current sending method, anybody who doesn't open after six months, if you send at least once a month, um, it will stop sending to those inactive subscribers. So this is really important that you make sure that people open your emails and key activation I won't show because that gives me you my activation key. So the first thing you want to do is create a list. And what I've done here is I've just literally set up this website and I want to get people to resubscribe um on my actual site because i don't really want to import the list because some of the people from my list um they i, I think i was hit by a few spam bots with the previous email um uh, system that i had so what i've actually done is i've just created a new list now to create a list you go to add new you put in a list name that's it then you can create a form for that actual list and it's a very simple form you just go add new and then you can actually just go in here and you create a simple form and you say form placement and you can say below all pages or below all posts and you have mail poet form id there that you copy now depending on the page builder that you have you may be able to connect um mail poet to it i'm using beaver builder and it allows me to do that which is great so you've done that now you need to create an email so with the emails, you get three options. You get newsletters, also known as broadcasts. You get welcome emails, also known as autoresponders. And you get post notifications. So let's set up a welcome email. So what you would actually do is you go add new. You would say new welcome email. You would say, when is this sent? So again, like your standard autoresponders, immediately, hour, day, week. So this is where you would have your autoresponder series. I would click on next and I get this screen coming up here. Now, what I love about this is that it's completely drag and drop. And what you can do is you can, um, this is a template that I created for myself, but I could just select this one. And then what I can do is I can just change this around. So I can go into this template. I can click here on this little icon here. 
and I could change the background image there. So I would go select another image. Um, I would select this girl here, a lot more handsome than me. Okay, it comes up. I could delete this image here because I don't want it. And then what I would do is I can just replace this text here. Now there's lots of short codes in here that I can put in the first name of the subscriber. And if the subscriber hasn't given their first name, it comes up default as reader. I could put in the date, okay, current day of the month, and I can change everything here. Now, then I can delete anything that I don't want here. So I don't want this. So I click on delete. I click on delete. And here's a really handy thing. Um, if I want to change my social media, I just click on them and I put in all my social media there. Now, I don't want to save this because I don't want to create that email there. So I just go back into emails and you will see these are the emails that I have set up here. So uh, this is the one that I just created there. This is um, time to be rather than do. This newsletter is sent when someone subscribes to the list, mindful newsletter. And this is sent one day later. Okay. And I can go and I can see how many people have opened and how many have clicked. You see there I've just hidden the names because obviously I don't want people, I don't want you to see the names of my subscribers. And it tells me what they have actually clicked on as well. Okay, so really, really good. They're, they're quite basic stats, but they're still pretty good. Okay, so I go back. Um, then the last one that I have is post notifications. And this is really handy. So what you can do with this one is this will notify people. It will send an email every day if there's new content to the latest posts. So if I just preview this email here, this is the email that will be sent out, which is saying, good morning, Richard here. Uh, Richard, here are the latest posts from my blog. Enjoy, and if you need anything, let me know. And those will be the two new posts that I've actually put in there. And it comes up just with the date today, which is 05, okay? So really, really easy to use. There's, there's nothing to this. I've set this up on a number of my websites, and I have to say, I'm super pleased. Now, at the price that you're getting this at, it is unbelievable deal. 49 bucks, 5,000 email subscribers you can have, and you can have unlimited sites. I'm just blown away by this. Grab this as soon as you can. You will not regret this. If you're paying over the odds for AWeber, get response MailChimp, get rid of it, get this. Highly, highly, highly recommended. So click on the link, leave any comments, any questions that you may have, and I'll talk to you very soon, guys. Bye.